just want to share a short video. Uh, it's on a Zechariah chapter 2, verse 5. And it's just really for the Christian. Uh, I just want you to know that God is with you. That God has got his hand upon you. And God knows everything about you. And his protection is upon you. So Zechariah 2 verse 5 says this, For I saith the Lord will be unto her a wall of fire round about and will be the glory in the midst of her. In this passage, Zechariah is talking about Jerusalem and he said he's going to be a wall of fire round about her. But I believe that can be God's people as well. For the Lord changes not. Barn says this in his commentary about this verse and I myself in my own being will be to her a wall of fire not protection only an inner circle around her however near an enemy may press in upon her but destruction to her enemies and then we read in Isaiah 54 verse 17 he goes on to say no weapon that is formed against thee shall prosper. And every tongue, why every tongue? Because God is for you. And every tongue that shall rise against thee in judgment, thou shalt condemn. Is not marvellous that every weapon and every tongue that's formed against you, Christian, the Lord shall condemn. This is the heritage of the servants of the Lord. And their righteousness is of me, saith the Lord. And Lord here in these in Isaiah fifty seven or fifty four seventeen is in capital, so it's a self existent one, the eternal one. The eternal one says to you this day that no weapon formed against you shall prosper. No tongue that's formed against you shall prosper. Or sh or tongue that is formed or raised against thee shall prosper. For in God's judgment, in the Lord's judgment, he shall condemn it. It's not marvellous that the Lord shall condemn it. Why? Because this is your heritage. You are bought with the precious blood of Christ. You are bought and God loves his children and God will protect his own God always protects his own. The Lord thy God changes not. As it says in Malachi 3 verse 6. He goes on to say it. It's defence Isaiah says shall be immaterial. We have a strong city. Salvation shall God appoint for walls and bulwarks. That's in Isaiah 26 verse 1. Let's read it. In that day shall this song be sung in the land of Judah. We have a strong city. Salvation will God appoint for walls and bulwarks. He goes on to say, Barnes here, Isaiah 60 verse 18, he quotes again, Violence shall no more be heard in, the, in thy land, wasting nor destruction within thy borders, but thou shalt call the walls salvation and thy gates praise. Salvation. Salvation is of the Lord. We know that. So let us praise him today. Let us exalt him. Let us glorify him. For the Lord is your protector. Zechariah goes on to say, The Lord encamps around us. As it says in Zechariah 9 verse 8, And I will encamp about mine house because of the army, because of him that passes by, and because of him that returneth, and no oppressor shall pass through them any more, for now have I seen with mine eyes. No oppressor, no devil, no person, no one who's coming against you shall pass, shall encamp near you, for the Lord is with you, the Lord of heaven, 
the eternal one, the self-existent one, is with you. He goes on to say, he goes on to say in the, uh, Zechariah 2 verse 5, the last part, about the Lord, he'll put a fire round about us and will be the glory in the midst of her. God's glory will be in the midst of his church. God's glory is in the midst of his church. God's glory was in the burning bush when God spoke to Moses and Moses said, Who will I say and sent who will I say sent me? And the burning bush said, Say, I am sent you. We know that Christ is the Alpha and the Omega. I am the beginning and the end. I am the Alpha and the Omega. I am the resurrection and the life. I am the bread of life. I am the way, the truth, and the life. And no man cometh unto the Father but by me. Jesus is the great I am. Barn says this, he quotes Isaiah 60, verse 19. The sun shall be no more thy light by day, neither for brightness shall the moon give light unto thee, but the Lord shall be unto thee an everlasting light and thy God thy glory. Christ is the light of the world. He is the everlasting light. He is the God of glory. Let your light shine today, born again Christian, because you know the Lord is for you and not against you. Let your light shine this day because the Lord fights for you. And every tongue that raises up against you in judgment, the Lord will condemn. For this is the heritage of the Lord. Barnes goes on to say, In that day shall the branch of the Lord be beauty and glory, which is in Isaiah 4 verse 2. Let's read it. In that day shall the branch of the Lord be beautiful and glorious, and the fruit of the earth shall be excellent, and the comely for them that are escaped of Israel. We are engrafted in, us Gentiles are engrafted in, and the beauty and the excellence and the glory of the Lord shall be upon you today, Christian. If you're feeling downcast, if you're feeling low, if you're feeling that you can't go on, remember that the Lord is for you and not against you. That he will condemn every tongue that raises up against you. And the Lord will put a wall, a wall of fire round about you. Hallelujah. And the glory will be in the midst of you. The glory of the Lord lives within you. Because you're born again of the Spirit. And the Bible tells us in 1 John 4, 4, Greater is he that is in us than he that is in the world. So be of good cheer. Be of good cheer. For if God is for you, who can be against you? Hallelujah.